Hi, beautiful. Today we're gonna watch people absolutely demolish their hair. I didn't mean to smile when I said that. <laughs> um, no, I'm so sad about it. You know what? We all love it. You know, there's something just so entertaining about it. Even though it's horrifying to watch, it's also just like, <laughs> like the evil side of me comes out where I'm just like, yeah, demolish it. But also, please don't. Let's see what crazy sh these people do to their hair today, shall we? Up first, we have a video by Kush Baby. In this video, I'm going to be bleaching my hair. All right, Kush Baby. Listen, wow, are your roots dark? Wow, is this gonna be a lot of work? Wow, good luck. Wow, holy sh wow. Ugh. Yeah, you're definitely gonna fuck this up. Sorry. I'll probably bleach it once today and then get back to it in a few days. But anyways, I'm gonna be using this bleach. It lifts up to six levels. So we're not trying to get too far today. It's just kind of like to start up the rootage. So she said she's gonna bleach it today and then she's gonna bleach it again, like tomorrow. I don't know why you guys put yourselves through these things. You can lighten any level of hair to a pale yellow with one round of bleach if you just do it right. It could be black, 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 black hair and you can get it blonde in one step but nobody ever does it right and blonding is something that i feel so passionate about something that i love so much something that i specialized in for a long time and if you have the right formula and you have the right technique and you have the right heating system aka steam to lighten the hair you can get it light in one step with that bleach i put 30 volume developer and i'm getting it a mix right now okay she's using 30 volume developer now with her honestly we could go up to 30 five volume for sh giggles like we want to blast this f cuticle open get rid of all that natural color boom make it nice bright blonde you know like we need a power we need strength we need heat we need foils we need everything to get this hair light and bright and even that's gonna be the difficult thing as well getting everything even because if she misses one spot it's gonna be so extremely noticeable it's gonna be white and black i'm gonna tell you one thing right now miss kush that formula is way too thin. That looks like water. We need it thick, thickety thickers. I'm talking like cream, like body butter. Like you should be able to turn the brush over with product on it and it should not drip. Like it should be thicky thick. That will help the lightener work for longer, keep from drying out. The more developer in your formula and the more watery it is, the faster it dries out. So you don't want that to dry out, right? You don't want it to dry out quickly when you're doing something like this. You want it to work for the longest time possible. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm shitting on your life today, but you know what? You put this video out here and you know what I do. I react to them. Anyways, I'm so happy you're starting at the bottom of your hair. That's great. That's like super important. This is gonna be nice that your ends don't end up in lightener. If you work from the top to bottom, things become messy and crazy and it's really hard to get underneath hair and flip it over. This way you just flip the hair down the way it grows and everything stays nice and perfect and organized as you work your way up the head. However, those sections are not thin enough. We want paper thin sections when we're doing something like this. A double process on anybody, but especially on somebody with extremely black hair. You want your sections to be paper thin, pretty much see-through while you work through your hair. That way you know that you're getting every single piece of hair and everything lifts evenly and has the same amount of color on it. Why can I literally see in the front of her head that she missed an entire layer? Like I can see it. There is a dark spot where there is no lightener and you should not be able to see through your hair. At this point, it should look like a pile of bleach on her root area. You should not be able to see the roots. They should be completely saturated in bleach. This is not saturated. This is like 20% saturated. I want way more on there. We have yellow roots. It did not come out even. So this part is still brown, like the actual hair. Yeah. Of course it didn't come out even. Of course it didn't. Because look at the application. Damn. God, I have a matcha today. The bottom pieces are fine. They're all yellow, seemingly even enough. And then in the back, somehow, I have a big spot that's just all black. Somehow I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> this looks crazy back there. She's gonna have a whole corrective process after this. She's gonna have such a hard time fixing this. God. 
Damn. Yeah, I'm not sure how that happened, but um, I'm definitely gonna have to bleach it again. Oh, it's bad, bad. Oh, it is orange. That's bad. That's scary. I think she missed more hair than she actually lightened, which I don't know how. At this point, it's become a process to mess up my hair before I just when I bleach it, like it's just a process at this point. It's part of my process. Oh my God. So that's the second bleach. I don't know how I did. I have a feeling I didn't do the best. Okay, this is an interesting technique. She's doing the mids first before she does her roots again, which is a good technique because her roots are gonna lighten up really fast from the heat from her scalp. And she really wants to bust out. She wants to get rid of that orange in the middle of her hair. I think it's a good idea, but I still don't think she's saturated enough and I still don't think she got every hair strand, so. <laughs> um, as you can see, my hair is now all orange, except there are spots. So, um, it's better than it was yesterday, but she's still a big old mess. Oh, spotty. And I don't like this for you. So, we have to once again go in and fix it. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and bleach the whole thing after I have finished correcting it. It is the day after. And I wasn't gonna do it today, but for some reason, every time my hair is fed up, I have places to be. <sighs> okay, we're going in with the third round of bleach right now. Once we get to the fourth is when I start to get really spooked. But the third, I am already spooked. Fourth, it's really spooky. But again, third, spooky already. We'll see how far we go. Something tells me we're gonna get to like five rounds of bleach. Like, I don't think this is gonna, she's gonna stop at three. I don't have any hope. It looked like in the beginning, she was going in and spot treating her hair in a way, kind of getting those dark pieces colored. And then she went in on all the roots and actually laid a decent amount of color on her hair this time. It's a little bit more saturated than last time, which is great. This is what it looks like after the second round of bleach and after color correcting some of those dark spots. Second round. This is the third, first of all. Second of all, holy shit, it's still yellow. Oh. So I think she looks pretty good. Came out pretty well. Okay, well, your definition of pretty good is different than my definition of pretty good. And that's okay. People feel differently about certain things, but I'm gonna go for the, it's decent. It's a little crazy looking. So she is kind of in between a yellow and orange right now. For some reason, the yellow is bringing out all the warmth in her skin and making her look really healthy. Whereas the gray parts, I don't know. It's not doing as much for me. Am I the only one? But yeah, tomorrow we're gonna be toning and I'm gonna be using T14 to tone up the yellow and I'm I'm probably gonna tone the rest of the hair only to kind of try to even out the colors. I don't know if that's gonna work. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's not do that either. T14, super blue, right? That's gonna make her hair gray for sure. I think that's what she wants. Other than that, she's gonna then run it through the ends of her hair, which is going to darken up the existing gray she has, which I don't think she wants, because then she's gonna have a light gray up here and a dark gray down here, so no. I don't know how much I'm gonna need, so I'm just gonna start with one bottle. I actually only have 30 volume developer. Honestly, I would usually say no, but she does need that extra kick. And these are permanent toners, so they do lighten the hair and then they deposit tone. They're not even really toners. They're just permanent color. I don't know why the f they call them permanent toners or some shit like that. It makes no sense to me. They're just permanent color. There's no such thing as a permanent toner. I guess there is in a sort of a way, but they're just permanent colors. They lift and they deposit. And it looks like this. I'm actually nervous because I just don't want to mess up my hair. It's too late for that. I'm sorry. I'm sure you're watching right now. I'm sorry I'm being so mean, but it's so fun. And it's really, really dry. So I'm gonna use this. Now I know a lot of people have a lot to say about coconut oil. And let me tell you something. I do not care what you have to say about it. It makes my hair feel amazing. Listen, coconut oil is great for moisturizing your hair, but not gonna help you <laughs> not damage your hair while bleaching it. And it's also just gonna eat right through it. That's the whole job of bleach, to just fuck destroy everything in sight. Currently brushing it, and I can literally tell y'all it looks like an entire freaking rainbow. She is a mess. You said it, not me. You took the words all out of my mouth. I would have said the exact same thing. But I'm so happy I'm almost done. What 
How many days has it been since I've started doing my hair? Now, because she's using 30 volume, the heat from her scalp is going to make the, the toner develop faster near her scalp. So she might have a hot root situation again. If you're using anything that's not just demi or semi-permanent, you need to watch out for that root. That heat is going to make it process faster and it's going to turn a different color, about a half an inch to an inch from your root. So basically, this is what my hair looks like. Um, yeah. I'm not mad, but obviously the whole theme of the hair, it just doesn't make any sense. It's because you used a blue toner. You used a blue toner over yellow. Blue and yellow make green. Your hair turned green. We can't put blue over yellow. You know what I mean? I'm definitely gonna give my scalp a break though. She's really dry and a bit like itchy, but I'm basically just gonna have to leave my hair alone for now. I don't want to add any color to it because I really want to actually fade all the color out. It's still all like lavender everywhere. I'm just kind of gonna leave it alone for now. I've looked worse, so it's not like that big of a deal, you know? It'll eventually get fixed. How the hell do y'all just live with this? I want better hair for you. What I would recommend doing at this point is lightening your roots again, and then doing a bleach bath on everything. We want to get those roots nice and pale yellow before we can go in with any kind of toner. We need to. If you want them light and you want them gray, they need to be pale yellow first. And then you are going to do a toner over everything. Unfortunately, I can't recommend a toner through the screen because I would need to see your hair in person and touch it and feel it and look at it. But good luck. I hope your hair is seeing better days now. Because that was a f disaster. Woo! Up next, we have a video by Haley Von Landsberg. Also, I have no idea if her name is Haley. I actually just made it up. It might be Haley. Let us know down below what your name is. I'm dyeing my hair. I'm not going to do much with it. I'm just going to put like highlights in it. But like, I'm not going to do my hair in a salon. Okay, Haley. I'm gonna call you that. Uh, yo, you have quite the head of hair going on right now. Cause I can tell it has been colored with black dye, like scary dye for a long time. Like it looks inky and heavy and like you have a lot of color laying on itself. So that's gonna be extremely difficult to lighten. We have an assortment of box dyes. Don't know what's in them, never do. None of us ever know what's in them because most of them don't say what the hell is in them. So sketchy to start. And then we have some kind of wrapping paper or clear something, I don't know. Oh. It's, it's tin foil. It's a good idea. When we're lifting hair this dark, tin foil is great because it heats the hair up. Heat helps the hair lighten brighter and faster. That's great. Her hair is very dark and she is going to need that. Beautiful, satisfying rips of the foil too. Very nice. We first went in and bleached my hair and this was a process because my hair is black, like it just wasn't working. And we started at like eight. So it was taking forever. We were watching American Horror Story while doing this. Okay, I believe this is her mom. Mom, I mean, no disrespect to you, but what the f*** is going on up there? What is that section we're grabbing? Why are we starting right here? I don't know any foiling patterns that start there. I don't even know what they're trying to do, but something ain't right. But I do appreciate that she has a good technique with the board and the foil on top. That way she has a good surface to paint the lightener on. Get that, but don't get the rest of it at all. I mean, she slayed the folding of that foil. I'll give her that. So we got three types of box dye. We got bleach, we got a uh, black, and then we got like a lightener. And here I am mixing the black. We never ended up using it because um, it was like way too much effort and we didn't understand how to do that. We don't need more black box dye, please. We don't need more. We don't need more. Your hair has seen enough black box dye, please. Okay, we are still working around the head. This sectioning is getting spookier and spookier. We are going from here, 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 here. I mean, when she parts her hair, she's going to have strips of skunk stripe blonde pieces going all through her head. I don't know what the goal is. I really can't tell. You know, we have the bleach and all. And now I gotta do the black because the brown is coming through. And my hair is like growing out extremely. Ignore my broken hair. Okay, so we are going in with the black box site in between all the foils, it seems. Is that what's going on? I don't understand what's going on. Why are the lights not on? This looks like a haunted house, the way it's filmed. <laughs> I think it's your camera that's making it look weird. As they take those foils out in the bath, I'm not seeing any blonde hair. So, my hair looks like this right now. Not too bad. We're gonna bleach it again, and then we're gonna put the lighter in, and then dye the other black parts. Oh, 
The words I was not expecting to come out of her mouth were, it's not too bad. Cause I don't know where you're gonna go from here. I don't know what the next step is going to be. You're not gonna be able to lift back up those sections that you lightened yesterday, you know? Like you're not gonna be able to get every section back in a foil to lighten them more. And also the way that it is lightened, you have literal lines all over your head. I don't understand what's going on. Am I missing something? We'll see. Maybe they'll they'll figure something out. We got the sister with her cap highlight on, going for the going for the other sister. Oh my god, there's so much going on with hair in this video. Whoa! So right now I have this ginger color thing. There's no colors, you can see them or whatever. So, I'm going to do from swaps. We're gonna do red. Like some of the, some of my hair like bleached really well and then the rest just didn't. So the car's off and I'm gonna do my real dance. I cannot tell you what she just said. Okay, instructions to put this so developer mix. See like the, the top like bleached because there's no color on the top of your head because you had roots that were this long the parts that didn't bleach well were the parts that had existing color on them i still have no idea what we're doing are we bleaching the rest i can't figure it out we're trying to do the other hairstyle with the bleaching and everything but because my hair was black obviously the bleach is not black it wasn't taking. Like, it's not bad, but it's not good. It's not bad, but it's not good. Um, but the picture she showed, okay, I get it now. She wants this very stripey look. So we're get we are getting stripey. We're just not getting the stripey in the cool stylized way. We're getting the stripey in like I my hair up. Well, she's definitely saturating that hair, which is good. She's definitely getting in there. I still feel like we're gonna miss a lot of spots because every time anybody does their hair online, they somehow just miss all the spots. Everything is missed. Yo, this ASMR right now is wild. <laughs> the paper crumpling, the hands, it's like, whoa. Oh, like a little bit of tingle in the spine. Let's see how long I have to have this in. 30 to 45 minutes. I don't know if you can like properly see. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it for 30 minutes and then I'll wash it off. Literally missed a spot in the front of your head. How do we do it, guys? How do we do it in the front of their, our heads? I mean, I get missing the back spots, but like the front, the front. I will say it looks a lot better with the red. It looks a lot more intentional and it evened out those spotty bits. So I'll take it. It is much, 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 much better than the craziness that happened throughout that entire video. The end result is wearable, but holy sh that was wild. Up next, a video by Kylie Bologna. I've been very good about not dyeing my hair for probably the last four to six months. But today, I've kind of had a mental breakdown. So, I went to Walmart. I thought she was gonna say Sally Beauty. Why don't you go to Sally Beauty? Because you can get X amount of color at Sally Beauty. Should have went there. We got a bleach kit, color oops, because I already have black box dye. Pink hair dye. Very excited about. We're going pink? Oh, this is gonna be a task. We're going from that color, that dark, dark color with four to six months of regrowth to pink today? Mm, I don't know. And purple shampoo because I didn't have enough money for toner. You don't have enough money for toner. We probably shouldn't be doing our hair. I have a work trip tomorrow. This Loki can't be bad. Oh God, you are, the odds are just stacked against you. you get a work trip tomorrow too? Oh, okay. And we are gonna go in with this color remover. I'm so happy she's using color remover because this is some dark color she's got going on and I can tell it's most likely box dye and it is in that hair strand. It is staying there. We gotta remove it with some color remover first before we start bleaching. I am a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't done this in a while and I feel like my hair health has been really good. <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna ruin it. Say bye to that hair health. Bye hair health. See you later. See you next year. Some color removers have bleach in them. I don't particularly that word's always hard for me to say, but I don't particularly like those ones because they just cause a mess. They are just scary and they over in the hair and they are just intense. And that one looks like it is that kind because it's a thick consistency and it's purple looking. That usually means it's like a toning bleach with some color moving properties inside of it. And also we gotta make sure we section the hair nicely for this. We can't just grab a clump of hair and start going to town. We gotta do it the same 
same way we would with bleach. Really small sections, paper thin, going all up the hair, making sure everything is perfectly saturated or else you're gonna get spotting. The way we're applying this is so extremely sketchy. I want the cheapest stuff because I know I don't have any money. But did I wanna do this that bad? Yes. That's usually when I dye my hair. When I have no money and I'm like pretty much struggling to dye my hair. I'm sending you some X Mondo products because we need good quality color when we're coloring our hair. And I don't want you doing this without having the right products, even if you can't afford it. I'm sending you stuff. But for some reason, I just want to do it so bad. And it's almost like this overwhelming urge that absolutely consumes my body. I totally get that urge. That happens to me all the time too. Well, not so much anymore because I'm kind of living my brown hair life right now. But I used to just be like, oh my God. God, I need to be blonde. Oh my God, I need rainbow hair now. And it would literally be 11 p.m. And then I would do it. Something is just pulling me towards that hair color and I need to do it. I know, it's not healthy. It's definitely not good for me, but does it feel so good? Also, there's so many other habits or addictions that I have slash could have. I love her trying to rationalize ruining her hair. I love it. This is so me, just doing something absolutely stupid and rationalizing it because I could have worse problems. I could have worse addictions. I could do worse things. This is how I'm gonna live my life. You are an inspiration, Kylie. Also, I think it's so funny that I'm doing this right before a work trip. I'm so happy you think it's funny because I'm extremely worried for you. Um, oh, I'm getting this like all over me. Um, I don't know where we're going with this color remover. It is everywhere except for the places it needs to be. My goal color wise is uh, ideally chunky pink highlights. Why are we lightening our whole head then? What? This is getting really bad. She is still working that color remover through her hair. Girl, that's enough. Um, I just threw a bag on my head. The instructions say that we're leaving this on for 60 minutes. I just got out of like washing my hair and let it dry a little bit. Um, it is like orange all over. Oh my God. Need I, I am speechless. What the f happened to the back of your head? How did it come out that bad? It is orange, it is stripy, it is crazy. My hair is pretty much dry now. I'm doing another spin and it's very blonde. I've decided that I want as little damage to my hair as possible. So I'm just gonna slap the color on there and pray. No, you're not gonna just slap the color on it. Don't slap it. Don't slap anything on your hair, please. So the colors I have to work with are this Lime Crime in Shade Bunny, which is like a pastel pink, which like ideally my hair would probably be this color. I also have this Manic Panic in in a hot pink and I also have one in electric pink pussy cat. I think I'm just gonna mix them all together and I don't know, we'll like figure it out. Do the darkest one. At least we can get a dark pink on the hair. That's enough. That literally looks like bubble gum. We went with the pastel. I am gonna try to put this on alone but I don't think it's like gonna stick very well just cause my hair isn't like blonde. You know what happens when you put pink over orange? Either nothing or you get a coral color. Oh, we're using no gloves. Why would we use gloves? No gloves, I, oh my God. I just put in all that color throughout my hair. We're gonna leave it up for probably like 40 minutes and then we'll wash it and then we will be back. Um, so my hair just got done like being washed and um, I dropped my hair dryer and broke it, so now this doesn't work anymore. So I guess I'm gonna have to air dry my hair. I'm gonna say something that I don't say often. I feel like you should probably never color your hair again. I think we've done all we can do. Um, this is how my hair came out. There is a lot of uneven color. My recommendation to you guys is just don't do what I do. Do your hair done professionally in a salon or keep it au natural because it's gonna take me a couple years to fix this. Oh, sh we left it like that. My recommendation is to just go back to dark. I don't know what that look is, but the bangs are banging. I do like those, I really do. And her hair looks somewhat healthier and shinier. But that spotty pink thing going on, Kylie, it ain't it. <laughs> what a f disaster. Okay, well, that's it guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.